everyone, Christina here, and this is going to be a different video than I normally do because I recently actually just got a fiber and I haven't had a chance to test it out yet. And what better way to test it out than make a video? And this particular video is going to be featuring a project for a very special someone. And that very special someone is my dog Daisy. And she is going to make some guest appearances in this video. So, you know, cut her some slack. She is new at acting. But, um, yeah, let's get started. Let's uh, make this custom gift for her. Now, before we get started, let's actually talk to Daisy and get some of her ideas for what she would like on her custom dog tag. Perfect! Perfect timing! All right, Daisy. No, no, Daisy. You have to tell me what you want on your custom dog tag. This is for you. You're going to star in this. What, what would you like on it? You want daisies? I mean, you like daisies, right? Because your name's Daisy. I'm going to go with this being open for interpretation at the moment. What I pretty much did was design this dog tag in Procreate, and then I live traced it in Illustrator, and this is where I'm working now. I'm creating an offset right here, so I have a little bit of a border because I do want the flowers to kind of appear like they're going off the edge of the tag. And this border that you're seeing here isn't going to actually be engraving. It's just kind of a point of reference so I have an idea of how big the tag will actually be. And this is overall what I hope the tag will eventually look like. And I am going to save it as an SVG. And because of some of the issues I've actually had with exporting from Illustrator into EasyCAD, I am going to be opening this SVG up in Inkscape and saving it. For some reason, the files seem to import a lot better when they're from Inkscape versus Illustrator. I'll be showing you in the next clip uh, what exactly I mean, but this has been my current workaround. I don't know if it's an Illustrator glitch or a Mac glitch. And because I do primarily work on a Mac, I bring all of my files over to Google Drive. I just have my laser stuff folder here, and I'm just dragging and dropping both the standard AI SVG and the Inkscape version so I can show you what happens when I import each one into EasyCAD. I actually got these tags on Amazon. I am going to be testing them out. Another thing I do want to mention before we get started, is we just want to make sure that we have our safety glasses on. So, I'm going to start by firing up the machine. We want to make sure we remove our lens cap as well, and adjust our focal height. Now as you can see, this is the Illustrator file right to EasyCAD. When I try to hatch it, it gets all distorted. For some reason, I can't figure out why, but when I import the Inkscape version, which it, again, I just literally resaved it and added Inkscape to the end of the title. When I import this and then hatch it, it looks fine. So I don't know exactly why this happens. And I am going to redraw the tag right in EasyCAD. And then I am going to light it. And once I'm happy with that, then I'm going to click Mark. I would like to give a huge thank you to Laser Everything on YouTube for creating such amazing fiber content that helped me with these settings. And he also has a website called masters.lasereverything.net where you can subscribe and get your own fiber libraries. So I really, really suggest giving him a look, checking out his fiber content. He has some amazing videos. They were very, very helpful for me when I started making this video because <laughs> I am a fiber noob when it comes to this. And I'm learning as I go, so <laughs> we all start somewhere, right? I really, really, really like this look. It's so shiny. It wasn't exactly centered like I had hoped. You can see that some of the border is still showing, so I am going to make some slight adjustments and actually redo this design on the back side, and I'm going to use a darker setting, so maybe this will pop a little bit more. I'm just going to be following the same process that I did with the other side of the tag. 
And for the settings for the darker side, I'm going to be using what is called Steel Z Mark, which again can be found on Laser Everything's premium library. Just a word of caution, if you are using a design that you plan on leading off the edge, that you should probably elevate it so you aren't marking your tray area, which I've made the mistake of doing a few times, but yeah, live and learn. But I do really like this dark setting. It, it scrubs up pretty well. I just used a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a paper towel for some fine-tuned cleaning and it really, really shines and that's pretty dark and noticeable. And now the ultimate test, giving it to Daisy. You can see she's kind of reluctant. She's not really sure what to make of it, but as soon as I attach it, she seems to be frolicking in happiness. So I'm gonna say this project was a success.